Svenkov has been around forever. Almost as long as the original Half-Life. This newest release version 4.5 is the largest release the Sven team has put out to date. 365 feature additions, bug fixes, changes and improvements. For all those who don't know what Sven Corp is, think of the gameplay from Half-Life, with Corp action for a player count anywhere between 2 through to 16. With a whole mess of community maps to boot, Sven Corp is not going anywhere anytime soon. Thrawn's Revenge is a large-scale map for Empire at War Forces of Corruption. It includes the events of the Great Civil War after Palpatine's death at Endor, up until the signing of the Paleon Gravion Treaty. This new update called Imperial Civil War features brand new units, graphical enhancements, 8 new galactic conquest maps, 20 new skirmish maps and a whole lot more. Vasio's Dirge is an action-packed custom campaign for Free Space 2 Open, comprising of 9 total missions with new ships, music and other assorted goodies. You play as a grief-stricken pilot, being interrogated about his recent experiences beginning with the awakening and the mysterious actions of the destroyer Vasio. Vasio's Dirge is a must-play for any Free Space 2 fans. Fistful of Frags is a source mod settled in the Old West. Its key features include five different game modes including co-op, dynamic objectives, full player and equipment customization, bots, 16 weapons, fist fighting combat, anti-TK built-in protection and much more. This new update has a variety of bug fixes, weapon balances and brand new map with a whole heap of dastardly snakes to dodge. Overwatch has had its first major overhaul this month, which includes a whole slew of map updates, gameplay changes and HUD updates. In total, this new patch adds over 150 new improvements and updates. For all those who don't know what Overwatch is, it's a cooperative first-person RTS hybrid that pits a team of rebels against one Overwatch player controlling the AI units. Tactical espionage action is exactly what it sounds like it would be. Inspired by the Metal Gear Solid series, you play as secret agent Frank Johnson on a mission to stop a group of terrorists who took over a weapons laboratory called Lonely. You have to sneak your way in and around the base, infiltrating and taking out terrorists as you move on. Ich wusste, dass es Vorherbestimmung sein musste. Etwas, das die Götter getan haben. Und das ist gut für mich war. Die Götter sind allesamt nicht mehr als besonders mächtige Magier, auch Lichtgeborene genannt. Doch das allein gibt ihnen nicht... Originally released in German, Nirum at Fate's Edge released an English version halfway through September. If you have been holding out for the English release, the wait has been worth it. 
The entire game's text and speech has been translated into English, and the mod does not disappoint in one bit. Nirum at Fate's Edge takes away the September staff selection for 2010. Seht mein Reich! Dies alles fällt nun in. Phoenix is a mod for Freelancer 2 that works in both single and multiplayer scenarios. However, the multiplayer has far more interesting features, like player cloaking ships, destructible universes, new ships, and a dynamic economy. All of which can be enjoyed 24-7 on the dedicated server called Banana World. This update of Fairy Tale introduces two new kingdoms with a whole lot of work done on getting rid of the bugs and irritations, balancing the game and making it work better. There is a whole new set of scenario maps which describes the history of the game world's great war, pitting good versus evil. Even with the release of Civ 5, Fairy Tale will continue to get new updates, so don't worry about that. Open Outcast is a total conversion mod for Crisis Wars that hoped to become an unofficial successor of the action-adventure Outcast. While this release is purely a technical demo, the direction and style is down. The combat is apparently the next key feature to be implemented, so make sure you check out that release as well. Okay, can you at least tell me where I am? I told you, you are on my island now. Crossfire claims to be the biggest project for Freelancer. Improving graphics, AI, and offers an advanced logical extension of the original story. And with that, a huge compilation of new systems, alien races to fight, and a lot of new ships, hidden data, wrecks, and a whole lot of guns. Forgotten has been cooking for a long time now, three years in fact. During that time the team has managed to add a whole new campaign, a brand new faction to play, and a new soundtrack and high definition full motion video cutscenes. The entire release is a massive achievement and you guys should download and play this mod. Since the move over to UDK to make a standalone version of Renegade X, the last version of the mod was supposed to be the final update. However, players were having problems connecting to the service so it gave the developers a chance to do a final update. And as you expect, it's fantastic, well polished and a whole lot of fun. No, 
all the mods that were featured here on the monthly ModDB Spotlight video and many more can be found over at ModDB.com, the biggest resource for modifications and development news.